Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Sensations! Okay, so last time we finished what there was of Greed's route, right? And so now we're moving on to Gluttony, the final uh, route available in this demo. And um, I'll read his biography this time. Biography? Summary? Info about him? Whatever. John Anderson, a 6325 year old all American guy that enjoys the exquisite cuisine, exquisite cuisine and timing opportunities Las Vegas has to offer. At the young age of 16, John was already over 6 feet tall and eating more than 4,000 calories a day. Oh my god. Much to the amazement of his classmates, teachers, and family. John is an all around physically active person that views exercise as a means to eat more. He routinely consumes seven to 10,000 calories a day and spends his non-eating time at the gym or pool, working off the excess calories so he can eat again. John has a pleasant, caring demeanor and loves his pet husky Ganny more than anything in the world. Okay, so I guess um, he's, not, um, he's not fat or overweight or chubby because he just keeps... He keeps working out. I select Gluttony, and the watch immediately homes in on where he is. It says he's at a Chinese food buffet. I guess that's not really surprising. His name is John Anderson, and he looks like a pretty cheerful guy. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant and see if I can catch him when he exits. I walk down the Vegas Strip, away from the high-end casinos, towards the old end of town. The farther I go, the older and more run down the buildings and casinos become. Trash and cigarettes carpet the ground here. Several people walk around. They seem to have no place to be. This definitely isn't a tourist area. I spot the Grand China Buffet as I walk. It's a standalone building crowded between a strip mall. I decide to sit on a bench and wait for a tall man to exit, matching the appearance of the small image on my phone. After 30 minutes of waiting and no movement on my watch, I decide to go in. I'm not hungry, but I can at least see what he's doing in there and prepare to talk to him. I walk inside and allow my eyes to adjust from the sunlight to the dim interior lighting. The interior is decorated in typical Chinese buffet style. The majority of the restaurant is empty, except for one table in back that has a mountain of dirty dishes on it. A tall, muscular guy that looks exactly like the image on my phone. I found John Anderson. Lucifer's current deadly sin of gluttony. I glance around. The employees of the restaurant look depressed, and the staff peer out at gluttony with apprehension. He must be a regular. Wait, so if the hell phone does have a picture of the sin in it, I mean, which it does, we've, we've seen the hell phone. Why was, why was Kosuke always sort of, sort of unsure in Greed's route if that was um, Cody until, until he said his name? Because I remember him being unsure about it. I think I should go talk to him, but maybe that's too forward. Maybe he'll be annoyed that someone interrupted his eating? Ooh, oh lord. And I also realized I can save during choices, I'm just an idiot. But nothing new there. Walk over to him and talk. Wait until he's- I don't think he wants us to interrupt his food. I decide to wait for him to finish, before attempting to talk to him. Well, you see- He well, hastily devours an entire tray of Rangoons, and what- Okay, you know what? I decide to walk over to him, and he notices me, but simply looks at me quizzically, while continuing to devour a plate of crab legs. Hi there! Gluttony finishes chewing and burps loudly. Charming. I'll have to teach him some manners. He has some thin legs. Whoops, sorry about that. How's it going? Is he skipping leg day seriously? Like, honestly. Going well. Uh, I was just coming over to say hi. And try to get in those pants. <laughs> this may sound weird, but I thought you were attractive and figured I'd say so. How are you? Oh, thanks. I am doing great. I'm absolutely destroying this buffet. I came in right after my morning jog. I certainly worked up an appetite. <laughs> I can see that. I was wondering if you'd be up to go out sometime. I normally don't ask people so frankly, but hey, why not, right? I am so smooth. Was he being sarcastic? <laughs> Doesn't seem that smooth. I love the honesty. Honestly. 
I think that this world has gotten so out of touch with new tech and that social media crap. I can appreciate when someone talks in real life. So, is that a yes? Hmm, hmm. I'm interested, but I gotta tell ya, I maintain a very active lifestyle. I'm just about to go hit up the gym after I finish off the last of these Rangoons. I love Rangoons. Want to come to the gym with me? It could be a test date. I have no idea what a Ran Rangoon is. That sounds good to me. Mind if I sit while you finish? Please do. I sit down with Gluttony and witness an absolute marvel of consumption. Gluttony burns through six more plates before dabbing the corners of his mouth daintily. Are we allowed to have some of his food, or if, like, we reach for anything, will he stab us with a fork? <laughs> Before we head out, I'm sorry for being so rude. I don't even know your name. Mine's John. Mine's Kosuke. It's great to meet you. Wow, that's a super cool name. It's like from one of those uh, Japanese cartoons. So awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks. How does he not know about the Lord's blessing that's anime? Well, lunch was delicious, as always. I come here twice a week because it's all you can eat for $4.99. Can't beat that price. <laughs> I guess not. You ready to hit the gym? You just read my mind. I've got a killer workout planned for today. Let's go then. All right, follow me. We exit the Chinese buffet and Gluttony starts jogging. I run to keep up with him. Hey, uh, are we going to the gym? We sure are. It's only a couple of miles from here. Just follow me. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Gluttony sets off jogging at a brisk pace, and I suddenly have massive doubts about my ability to seduce him. I've never been the physical fitness type, after all. I have to give it my best shot, though. What would Lucifer do if I failed? We jog past some run-down abandoned strip malls and through a couple shady-looking alleyways. Gluttony doesn't appear to be bothered at all, so I guess I'm not bothered by the area either. It probably helps that he's tall, muscular, probably has a massive dick too. That probably keeps all the criminals at bay, right? You run through a bad neighborhood? I mean, if you see this guy, this guy Gluttony, running through a, a bad neighborhood and you're a criminal and you wanna, you wanna hold someone up for their money, and but you see this big fat schlong in his shorts just just flapping around. Are you gonna stop him? I wouldn't. Go stop the guy with a small penis, you know? Being lust gives you intrusive thoughts. By the time we arrive at a gym called Planet Swole, I'm gasping for breath. Gluttony doesn't seem like it's anything out of the ordinary for him. Gluttony stops and runs slowly in place. You did great. We're here. I'm having a mega cramp after running right after all that salt intake. Let's go get hydrated before we continue. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I follow Gluttony inside, my legs feeling wobbly from the unexpected run. Thankfully, there's a water fountain close by. Gluttony goes up to the check-in counter while I desperately gulp down water. Hey, Kate. Me and my friend Kosuke checking in today. Just letting you know. Is it pizza day? I'm getting a little hungry. No, John. That's only once a week, and it was yesterday. Darn. Oh, well. Thanks, Kate. You're the best. Have a good workout, John. I finish drinking and rejoin Gluttony. He looks excited to get started. All right, bro. We can do one of two things to get started. We can hit up the sauna. It's great to loosen your muscles before a workout. Or we can just help each other stretch and get straight to the workout. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Um, I'd love to go to the sauna or we can help each other stretch, you know? I'm a good boy and I'll keep saving. Oh no, is there only 12 save slots? Zoinks. And I think that's it. I don't see any like scroll button or page button. I'll just save it with number one. Um, what would he want? I think, honestly, they seem kind of equal. Not gonna lie. I'd love to go to the sauna. No, let's stretch. Sounds good to me, dude. Oh. You got any gym clothes? Hmm. I don't, unfortunately. That's alright. I got some extra stuff here. You might have to tie the waistband tight, but the tank top should be just fine. Don't worry, it's all clean. I'm not gonna give you something all musty. Oh, give us something with your must. <laughs> alright, let's go get your stuff and I'll change. Great! 
The extra clothes are in my locker. Follow me. We walk to the locker room, where a variety of people in various stages of undress mill around. <laughs> Apparently, Planet Swole has a pool. The locker room smells like chlorine. A few guys in bathing suits walk past and give us a nod. Gluttony ignores everyone and walks purposefully to his locker. Here we are. I have a few outfits you can select from. Go ahead and change and uh, meet me around the corner. We'll get started with some team stretches. I make my selections from Gluttony's locker and place my remaining clothes inside. I walk around the corner to find Gluttony waiting for me. Hey, looking real good. Ready for some team stretches? Stretching is important before you work out. It reduces any damage you can do to yourself. I'm ready. Where should we stretch? Follow me. We'll go stretch where there's some padding. We leave the locker room and head out into the main gym area. It's relatively empty, which is good. I feel out of place in a gym. Luckily, Gluttony doesn't seem bothered by my inexperience at all. All right, Kosuke, we can start with leg stretches. Go ahead and lay down, and I'll stretch your leg up. This stretch is important for your thighs. All right. I lay down, and Gluttony takes my leg in his hands. He pushes up, up, up. Ugh! I <laughs> feel a pinch of pain in my leg. Why does it look like he's not wearing a shirt? That's Kosuke. <laughs> okay, that's about how far you can stretch, so we'll hold it there for 10 to 20 seconds. Maybe he's wearing a tank top, I don't know. While Gluttony is holding my leg, oh, I can't help but notice the position we're in. Gluttony has a clear view down my borrowed gym shorts. If he notices, he doesn't let on. Well, I was going to say, he's wearing his clothes again, but, um... <laughs> well, okay, I guess just... Gluttony might be perving on Kosuke, but Kosuke is sending his succubus powers to him, so... Not really Gluttony's fault. Time's up! Time for the other leg! We repeat the stretch, and then Gluttony lays down. Alright, same thing for me! I lift Gluttony's leg, and it's actually really heavy, full of dense muscle. I put a lot of effort into pushing his leg back further and further. Um, tell me when it's too far. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd ask. I'm actually super flexible, so no need to worry. Uh, okay. I wasn't sure. We repeat the leg stretches for gluttony, and he stands up. Okay, arm out in front, and use your other arm to help pull it across your chest. Nice and slow. We stretch our arms, then our lower backs, and gluttony declares that enough to start working out. So, we're going to start with a little weightlifting. Then we can see how we feel. Sound good? Sounds good. We walk over to the free weights. Gluttony grins at me and selects two 25-pound weights. Go ahead and pick out some weights that aren't too heavy. We're going to do 20 reps, rest, 20 reps, rest, and then 20 more. Just follow my lead. I walk up to the weight rack and select a set of 8-pound weights. <laughs> Heavier than I would have liked for repetitive lifting but I don't want to appear as a total weakling to him. All right, weights out and curl him up. It was eight pounds, really. <laughs> All that much. I curl my arms up, following Gluttony's movements. Gluttony seems to do it effortlessly, whereas I can already feel myself tiring out. One, two, three, four, five, six... Gluttony counts out the repetitions, and by the end of the first 20, my arms feel like limp noodles. I'm determined to make it through the last two, though. Okay, rest a second. Take some deep breaths. Get the oxygen back to those muscles. All right, let's go again. My arms rebel against me, screaming at the sudden abuse. I grit my teeth and make it through the second rep, though I'm sweating profusely. Nice! I didn't think you'd make it! One more rep, and then we take a break for some cardio work. My head feels faint as Gluttony relentlessly counts down the third repetition. I miss a few counts, as my arms struggle to hold up to Gluttony's pace. Nineteen... Twenty... Woo! Does he notice how much of a soy boy Kosuke is? <laughs> is it turning him off? I drop my weights back on the weight rack and sit on a nearby bench, breathing heavily and feeling like my arms are on fire. Kosuke, you inspire me! I remember when I struggled like that, but you worked through it. Nice determination! You'll be deadlifting me in no time. I'm too out of breath to respond, but Gluttony's compliments make me feel good. He's a pretty positive guy. All right, while you take a short break, I'll get the treadmill set up. We're just going to run for a little bit, on an incline, to help tone those leg muscles. Nothing too bad. G great. <laughs> <laughs> Gluttony walks excitedly over to the treadmills. 
He seems to like having a person to work out with. I'm glad I have at least something I can focus on with him. It makes dating a lot easier when you can do something together. Over here. Come on now, don't rest too long, or your muscles will start to stiffen. I sorely walk over to the treadmill, mentally cursing Lucifer for his shitty test. Okay, so, we're going to do a steep incline, but it's just going to be a brisk walk. You don't gotta run when doing cardio. Even just a little effort helps to elevate the heart rate. I step on the treadmill, and Gluttony steps on his. The treadmill gives a brief countdown, and then starts. I begin walking, and Gluttony starts as well. So, I gotta say, not many people ask someone out blindly. Have we ever met before? No, I just see what I like and I go for it. A man after my own heart. That's a great attitude to have. Just take everything day by day. Don't get too caught up in worrying about the future. Am I right? It also helps that all the sins are gay for some reason. <laughs> but that's just a good thing, so no complaints here. Yeah, that's a good outlook to have. Are you local to Vegas? I am. I just moved here recently. Awesome. Sorry for asking. Was just making sure you aren't trying to hit it and quit it, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I know what you mean. <laughs> well, I mean, he kind of has to make him fall in love, right? So, not exactly, but as soon as as soon as you're in love, he's out of there. So, uh, where do you live? I'm at the apartment complex right across the street. Has a kind of nice view from one of my windows, if you lean out of it. Well, I'm actually in the process of looking for a place to live. I just moved here, so I've been staying here and there while trying to decide. I gotcha. I'd offer for you to crash at my place, but I don't know if you're a serial killer yet. Uh... <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. Don't be so serious. It's not worth it. <laughs> Sorry. I guess it is pretty strange to be on a date with someone you just met. Hey, man. My parents met when they crashed into each other at a roller skating rink. My mom had a broken nose, but it was love at first sight. Nothing wrong with something out of the ordinary. That's true. So, if you don't mind me asking, you look kinda young. Not that it's a bad thing, but I have a strict rule for not dating people more than seven years younger than me. Strict. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, how old was he? Was, it, was he 29? No, Cody was 29. But I think he's only like 25. I'm 24. So unless you're 30, we're good. Nope, I'm 25. A quarter of a century old. Awesome. So we have the age thing out of the way. What is it that you do for work? I mean, did Kosuke look... Wait, wait, did Kosuke look 18 or... <laughs> or... 20, 31? Can I do math? 31? I don't think so. Well, I gotta be honest, I don't really work. I volunteer to coach the co-ed swim team here at Planet Swool, but other than that, not much. Oh, how do you survive and eat and stuff? <laughs> it's not a very interesting story. My parents put some money in an investment when I was little. After they died, I only found out about it because some lawyers talked to me about their estate and stuff. So, so I, I thought he would be owning this gym, um... Before I before I started this route, but I guess not, huh? Turns out their investments totaled several hundred thousand. I cashed them all out, bought a cheap apartment in Vegas, and I've been living off of it ever since. Oh, makes sense. What do you do? I stumble briefly <laughs> on the treadmill at the question, and Gluttony reacts lightning fast, reaching out and steadying me while continuing his own walk. Have sex with men for money, but we're not a prostitute, trust us. We're just... We're just an agent from hell, a sin from hell. I'm an artist. College educated, but I'm looking for work here now. So, in between jobs currently. Hey, that's cool! You do any of those fancy 3D animations? Well, I do a little, but my focus is really on 2D art. Sweet! Maybe you can help me draw a logo for the swim team I coach. We already have a logo and name, but they're lame. We're taking a vote on a new name soon. Sure. What's the current name? Planet Swole Squids. I mean, squids are cool and all, but we need something with more pizzazz, I think. Like the Piranhas or Hurricanes. Ah, I do like the Piranhas. That would be a cool team name. Hell yeah, it would. That was my idea. If we got a cool logo for it, I'm sure I could sell them on it. I can definitely make something and see if you like it. That'd be great. I really appreciate it. I'm not super artistic. I'd love for you to come over and show me what you got. Oh, I'll show you what I've got, all right. Mm-hmm. 
If you have a computer at your home, I can use that to draw. I'm free after our workout if you are. I am, but we gotta get some food beforehand. I'm working up an appetite. How about you? I just love how, um, sexual Kosuke is sometimes. <laughs> I'm working up more than an appetite. I think this is the most exercise I've had in years. Man, there's this fantastic pizza place that I order from a lot. They got a sweet deal going for me. Four pizzas for 20 bucks. If you like pizza, we can do that. I like pizza. Mostly cheese. CC's $5 pizzas? I mean, that's four for 20, right? I've never had CC's pizzas. It doesn't look good. For sure, for sure. I'll order it when we're done here. We've only got three minutes left on the treadmill, and then it's cool down. I'm looking forward to cool down. I'll bet. You're gonna be so sore tomorrow, but it's gonna be a good sore. Like your muscles have just graduated high school and are on their way to college or something. Great. Don't worry. The trick to not having sore muscles is to not rest them, even when you're sore. So as long as you keep moving, they don't have time to be sore. We run the last couple minutes down on the treadmill, and Gluttony steps off his machine. Go ahead and turn it off. We'll hit the showers and head back to my place. Sounds good. I follow Gluttony to the showers. There's nobody else using them. The night shift is just arriving, and the daytime users have already left. Gluttony strips off his shirt and shorts before stepping into the group showers. I take off Gluttony's shorts and shirt and step in after him. Oh, for a second I thought <laughs> he was removing Gluttony's clothes. I was like, wait a second here. Let's see what these other choices might result in. My man, that's how I like to start off too. You got any gym clothes? Hmm, what should I wear? I make my selections and stow my extra clothes in Gluttony's locker. I round the corner where Gluttony is waiting to give me privacy. Hey, looking good, not gonna lie. All right, you need anything else before we hit the sauna? No, I think I'm good. All right, let's go. We walk to the sauna entrance. There's a couple people sitting inside, but plenty of space for everyone to sit. Grab a towel if you want. I normally stay in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Without warning, Gluttony takes off his clothes and places them on a clothing rack outside the sauna. I stare at his ass. Hey, I'm lust. I'm only a little shameless. Gluttony loops a towel over his shoulder and walks in. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be naked too, so I just take off my shirt, grab a towel, and follow Gluttony in. But he's not naked. I mean, he has shorts on. Right? He's wearing them. Let me call in the pizza order before we get too far. My apartment is only a few minutes' walk. So apparently Gluttony is really, um, modest, maybe? He wants to get to know us before he destroys us. I rest on a bench outside Planet Swole, my whole body feeling like someone hit every place with a sledgehammer. Take all the time you need. <laughs> so suave. Gluttony pulls out a phone and speed dials the pizza place. After a brief conversation with the owner, he's ordered four pizzas, one with extra cheese. There we go. They'll bring it by my place in a half hour. I'm starving. Didn't you just eat a large meal, though? Yeah, but I worked it all off at the gym, so no worries there. Ah, that's good. We walk down the road behind the gym, and an older brick apartment comes into view. That must be where Gluttony lives. We walk up the street, and a metal staircase climbs to the top of the multi-story complex. We could take the elevator. But no need to turn down an opportunity for exercise, right? Right. My poor, abused muscles. We climb the stairs, and my aching muscles decide to give me one last burst of energy. Luckily, Gluttony's apartment is only on the second floor. We're just gonna be like a limp fish in bed. We're here. I hope you don't mind dogs. I have a husky. He's a sweetheart, though. He loves people. Show him to me. I'm fine with dogs. Don't worry. No, where is he? Show him now. Sweet. His name is Ganny. He'll warm up to you if you give him some pets. We walk into Gluttony's <laughs> apartment, and we're greeted by his dog, Ganny, immediately. Ganny walks up to me and sniffs my hand, then my shoes, and promptly loses interest. The dog walks back over to his bed and lays down. Very funny-looking anime dog. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> See? He's a good dog. Aren't you, Ganny? Yeah, you are. Gluttony using a pet voice to address Ganny is actually pretty cute. Gluttony doesn't seem like the type to have a soft spot for pets, but looks are deceiving, I guess. 
Gluttony's apartment is decorated pretty simplistic. He has a few trophies for swimming, a modest TV, a sofa, and a few chairs seated around his dining room table. It's surprisingly clean. I kind of expected it to be messy, with empty pizza boxes everywhere. Okay, so the pizza will be here in 20 minutes. You want to sketch out some ideas for the logo? It's going to be great to show the kids a sweet logo. Sure. You have a paper and pencil? I do. Somewhere. Let me look around. Go ahead and have a seat anywhere. Gluttony disappears around a corner, so I walk over to his dog and give him a few pets. The dog pants happily and rolls over, so I give him a belly rub before standing and sitting on Gluttony's sofa. Ganny comes over and sits next to me, probably because he wants more pets. I oblige him. Gluttony returns shortly with a notebook and a pencil and comes over to sit beside me on the couch. Glad Ganny likes you. He's kind of lazy, so it must mean he thinks you're special. He's probably just lazy from the heat. Vegas can have pretty high temperatures for a husky. Yeah, I leave my air conditioning on for him when I'm out. It's not bad. I'm going to take him for a run after dinner because it gets cooler outside at night. You're welcome to join us if you want. I'll have to see how much energy I have. <laughs> not a problem. So anyway, here's the pencil and paper. I don't have any ideas for the logo, so you're kind of on your own. That's fine. Let's see. What should I sketch? Okay. Um, so can we do something sexual with this piranha idea? Because that's what I'm thinking. Always got sex on the brain. Okay. Um, cartoon squid with a pirate. But I thought we didn't want to do squids anymore. An artistic rendition of gluttony. Several sketches of piranha. I feel like we should just do the piranha thing, right? Why would we do the squid thing? He doesn't like the squids. And the B one, that just seems weird. I draw a few sketches of a piranha, some more realistic than others. Gluttony scoots close and watches, fascinated, as I draw. Wow, you're pretty talented. Thanks. What do you think of the sketches so far? I like the one with the big <laughs> jaw and sharp teeth. That's pretty legit. Cool. I'll draw that in sharper detail and add the name to it. No, the one at the top right's the cute one. Neat. I continue drawing, sharpening the piranha, and adding in the text. After a few minutes, I show Gluttony the result. What do you think? I draw a couple different figure poses, and end up drawing a caricature of Gluttony in a speedo. <laughs> Don't flatter me! I can't have the swim team logo be me! I know, this is, this is kind of a dumb choice, but... Why not? You're the coach! <laughs> no, no! We gotta redo this. I can't do it. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll get serious. I draw a new logo, with a cartoonish piranha leering at a smaller fish. Alright, well, let's see if, um, what happens when we pick the other one. Gluttony scoots close and watches <laughs> as I draw. I decide to have some fun with Gluttony's swim team logo, before actually drawing the logo. I draw a large one-eyed squid with a pirate hat, and show it to Gluttony. Gluttony is a lot easier. I am, most of his things don't give me a negative. It's either the purple diamond or a positive. What do you think? Well, I mean, it would work for our current team name, but I thought we were going to draw something for the planet's wool piranhas. <laughs> we are. I'm just joking. Can't believe you don't like the pirate hat. I do like the pirate hat. It's just a squid. We're trying to be fierce, like a piranha. All right, all right. I'll get serious. I draw a new logo, with a cartoon piranha leering menacingly at a guppy. I think it's awesome. I can't believe you did that in like 10 minutes. I can't wait to show everyone at practice tomorrow. I'm glad you like it. And I hope they like it too. I know they will. In fact, why don't you come tomorrow so you can see the reactions? You could probably swim a bit too, since your muscles will be sore. That sounds good, but I can already feel my legs stiffening. I might have to pass on the swimming. There's the pizza. Perfect timing. Ganny hops up to go greet the pizza delivery driver. Gluttony grabs his wallet and pulls out a 20 and $5 bill. He opens the door and greets the driver like an old friend. Joe, great to see you. I'm starving. Good to see you too, John. That's five boxes. Total is 2103. Isn't that five? I can count. That's five. Why does he have five? Here's 25, my man. You keep that change and keep on that grind, all right? Thanks, John. Have a good one. Gluttony shuts the door 
sets the four pizzas on his counter. Ah, cheesy goodness. This is my favorite pizza place. It's called Pizza Crush. Here's your pizza, Kosuke. Extra cheese. I've never heard of Pizza Crush. Are they local? They are. The owner has been in Vegas for like 25 years or something. That's cool. I like trying non-chain restaurants. Same. Some of the finest foods can be found in a back alley, I always say. <laughs> I don't know. Back alleys can be scary if you're not a tall, muscular dude. Well, then you just have to go to the back alley diners with a tall, muscular dude, like me. <laughs> Is that an invitation to a back alley diner? <laughs> True. Thanks for It's the least I Oops. can do since you're helping me out with the logo. I really appreciate it. I apologize. It's no problem at all. We start eating the pizza, and it's delicious, as I'd expect from anywhere Gluttony decides to eat. Gluttony takes some of the meat toppings from his pizza and throws them to Ganny, who leaps up and catches them excitedly. Ganny loves to have a little snack before a run. He knows he's going to get to go out soon, so he's more active now. How long do you take him out? Well, we've still got a couple of hours before the sun goes down completely. There's a small dog park I usually take him to daily. He needs his exercise, just like anyone. Cool. I'll come with you guys. Dogs are fun to play fetch with. Awesome. You hear that, Ganny? You're gonna have a new friend to play with. Ganny wags his tail excitedly at Gluttony's voice. Gluttony reaches down and pets him, then slides two empty pizza boxes beside the full ones. I hadn't even seen him finish one pizza, much less two. Do you like the pizza? It's great. I just eat a bit slower than you do. I understand. But if you keep up with a workout like mine, you'll be burning so many calories, you might waste away to nothing if you don't eat something every hour. <laughs> I may or may not be able to keep it up. Time will tell. We continue eating, and I finish two slices before I feel full. Gluttony devours each slice in four to five bites. It's kind of fascinating. He must have the hugest shits. <laughs> the toilet just must always be clogged. Uh, this does not... You know he's not a bottom, right? We know this. <laughs> I mean, how could he ever be ready to bottom? Like, how could he ever clean out? And just never. Wouldn't work. All right, time to go to the park. Ganny, who wants to go to the park? Ganny jumps up and down excitedly and runs over to the door. Gluttony gets his leash and attaches it to Ganny's collar. I notice Gluttony has both of his finished pizza boxes under his arm, probably to throw them in a dumpster on the way. I like that he keeps his apartment clean. Gluttony, but not a slob. We exit Gluttony's apartment and walk down the stairs. Ganny seems to want to run, so Gluttony jogs slowly, to allow for my abused muscles. I hobble after them like an old man. Don't worry, Kosuke. The park is close by, and there's plenty of benches. We lightly jogged to the park. Thankfully, Gluttony was accurate. It was almost within view as soon as we left his apartment. The park is emptying now. As the time gets late, Gluttony takes off Ganny's leash and pulls out a few rubber balls. Ganny stamps his feet excitedly while waiting for Gluttony to throw them. Gluttony throws one, an impressive long distance throw. Ganny takes off to retrieve the ball while I park my exhausted ass on a nearby bench and watch. So, I'd say today's test date went pretty well. Oh, was this just a trial? <laughs> was this a trial version of our, of our dating life? I'd agree. I'm glad it's gone well. Where are you staying tonight? I figured I'd get a hotel room. Unless you don't mind me staying at your place. We just met, though, and he said he doesn't feel comfortable about that, didn't he? I'd love to have you over. I mean, not for sex or anything, obviously. Mm. That would be a rude assumption and put inappropriate pressure on the situation. But I want the situation, and I want the inappropriate pressure. <laughs> uh... <laughs> but didn't he just say he doesn't want... Well, I guess he said he was joking when he said that um, it would be too soon to have us um, stay with him, but... So I don't have any intentions, just so you know. But you can totally stay over if you want. You can have intentions. <laughs> I'd like to. We still have to go present the logo to the swim team tomorrow anyway. True. And maybe get you involved with the swim team. It's a young adult team, so it's 18 and older. We just casually compete, too. We're not hardcore. I don't know if I'm ready to be on a swim team when I'm so out of shape. Ganny returns with the ball, and Gluttony throws another one for him. It's all good. The team is only 16 people, so we're kind of a close-knit group. I'm sure you'd get along well with them. I'm sure I would. Maybe I'll just come watch what you do tomorrow. 
Make a decision from there. Cool with me. Ganny comes back again with the ball, and Gluttony gives him a hug and ruffles his head. Good boy, Ganny. You're such a good boy, and so handsome. Yeah, you. Gluttony throws the ball again, comes over to sit down next to me. So, we've talked a lot about me and my interests. Do you have any goals or things you're working on currently? Lucifer's test, I think to myself. Well, I'm looking at finding friends and a stable place to live right now. Once that's accomplished, uh, probably going to be looking for work. I can definitely help out with the friends part. And maybe more, once we figure out if we really like each other, you know? I'm a little old-fashioned. I don't really jump straight into relationships. I want things to be meaningful and long-term. Ooh, girl, don't I only have two months? That's as long-term as it's gonna be. That's really sweet and sincere. And it's good to know what you want in a relationship. We're gonna have to rush them. <laughs> yeah! Most people that ask me out do so because of the looks. At least, people tell me I'm good-looking. Eh, honestly, I think out of all the sins, he's actually the least good-looking. <laughs> Just gotta, gotta be honest with you, Gluttony. You are good-looking. At least Kosuke's, he's simping for you. Thanks. But it's hard to tell who just wants to get in the pants, and who wants to have a life together, you know? I got other things going on to get too caught up in the drama of dating and hopping from one relationship to the next. Mmm, I think Kosuke might be the former, just wants to get in your pants. I have a dog, and my job, and fitness to work on. Doesn't leave a whole lot of room for casual dating. I get it. I'd like something long-term too, just so you know we're on the same page. I'm just a bit unable to commit to something just yet. For reasons beyond my control. Totally get it, man. And I sure am fine with dating and stuff until you figure things out. You've got a swimmer's body, and I find that super attractive, not gonna lie. Is that just code for our body? It's just a limp noodle? Thanks. I have perfected it by sitting at a desk and drawing. <laughs> hey, some people are blessed with good looks regardless of what they do. No harm in that. Ganny returns from fetching another ball and jumps onto Gluttony and I. I laugh and cuddle him, and Gluttony gives me a ball. Toss one for him. He seems to like you a lot. I throw the rubber ball, and Ganny runs off to fetch it. I can tell Gluttony likes that his dog likes me. Is he so friendly with most people? I'd say he's about 50-50 on people. Sometimes he really likes people, and other times he ignores them. I see. Ganny runs back with the ball and deposits it in front of the bench. Gluttony picks it up and tosses it one last time. It's getting dark outside. We should probably head back. <laughs> this park is where drug dealers meet after hours. Not really the violent drug dealers, more like weed and stuff. But I don't like being around it anyway. <laughs> Let's get out of the park before the drug dealers get here, I guess. It's Las Vegas, okay? <laughs> it's always a party. Sounds good to me. Gluttony calls for Ganny, who had stopped to examine and run around another dog. He waved to the other dog's owner and knelt down to attach Ganny's leash. Ganny is noticeably less energetic than when we left the apartment. All right, Ganny, let's head home. We walk home at a leisurely pace, allowing Ganny to stop and investigate any stray bits of trash or hydrants he walks past. So, the swim team practices daily, Monday through Friday, at 8 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. So we should get some good rest before tomorrow. He's so ready for us to join the team. <laughs> I don't really have a second bed here, and it's probably not cool to sleep in the same bed. Oh. So is the couch fine to sleep on for now? Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind sleeping on the couch, it's cool with me, bruh. <laughs> That'll be great. Oh. No problem. Ganny will be out here to keep you company, too. If you need the bathroom, it's right to the left of my bedroom. I'll go grab you some pillows and a blanket. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Just let us sleep in the same bed. We won't do anything. I lean down to give Ganny a few scratches. I sit down on the couch, and he puts his head on my lap for more affection. He's a cute dog. A short minute later, Gluttony comes back with the pillow and blankets. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna go pass out. If you need any drinks or anything during the night, help yourself. Thanks. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams! Gluttony saunters off to his bedroom and shuts the door. It's kind of endearing how he doesn't go for easy sex, considering his looks. He could have all the sex he wants, but wants something more meaningful. I like that about him. 
He's not willing to commit to something unless he's sure about it. Ganny drags his bed over to the couch and lays down next to me. I fluff my pillows and spread out the blanket. The couch, while not very spacious, is comfortable. In less than a minute, I'm in a deep, dreamless sleep. Aw, I feel like his was... Gluttony's had the shortest route among them. Among them all. Am I crazy? I'm not crazy. Um, but... Thank you, um, everyone. Let's just have some music while I do this. But, um, thank you everyone for watching this video of Sensations. Um, as I've already said before, I'm very excited about this game. I really like, like, mo I really like most, if not all, the sins here, you know. I think they're all pretty cute, and I can't wait to meet the three new sins. But, um, not new sins, but the three other sins. But, um, yeah, I've already said it before, I love the art in this game, I really like the music, I love the backgrounds, and I really enjoy the humor a lot, and the voice acting is, um, overall I would say it's just pretty dynamite. It's just, I don't, it's just everything, honestly, is so good about this game, and I'm really excited, so, again, there, as a reminder, the Kickstarter to this game is in the comments of this, the comments, the description of this video. And if you want to play the demo to yourself, of course, the lit link to the itch.io page is also in the description. Bye guys.